Good morning. Today we're looking at the paper portion of test two and walking through, let's use our full screen, walking through the answers. The first question had two parts. Each one was looking at, do you know derivative formulas? The first one is easy if you convert it into what I call a pseudo polynomial. So seven times the square root of X is seven times X to the one half and 12 divided by X to the fourth is 12 times X to the minus fourth. Then we simply have one rule. You bring the exponent down to the front and you drop it by one. And so seven X cubed becomes 21 X squared. Seven X to the one half becomes seven half X to the minus one half. 12 X to the minus fourth becomes minus 48 X to the minus fifth. For the second problem, it's a product rule. And so I'm going to need the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. And we see the derivative of the first is 21 X to the sixth plus five. And the derivative of the second is one over X times two to the X times ln of X. And so we have these terms times the appropriate parts. For the second question, we're testing rules, but you don't have formulas to deal with. So you've got to just use the formula for product portion and chain rule. So the first part of the problem is setting up saying we have a quotient. And so the derivative of G over F is G times F, G prime times F minus G times F prime over F squared. Notice it's F on the bottom rather than G. So I need to make my formula work that way. I evaluate everything in terms of eight. And then I simply notice what the values at eight are. And at eight, G prime of eight is two, F of eight is six. Um, G of eight is five and F prime of eight is seven. Everything comes together as minus 23 over 36. For the chain rule, the derivative of G of F of X is G prime of F of X times F prime of X. We're evaluating at two. And so I'm going to want to know what F of two is. That's nine. And I'm going to want to know what F prime of two is. That's four. Now I need G prime of nine. And that's three. Three times four is 12. On to page two. We're doing a second derivative. That's just the derivative of the derivative. I'm gonna do a chain rule on the first term and e to the x on the second term. And so the derivative of three x plus seven all to the fourth is four times three times three x plus seven cubed. The derivative of that is 12 is 